Okay, okay, another morning, another day, another video. Good morning. I hope everyone's alright, I hope everyone's been good, and I hope you've been productive. But maybe things haven't been so great. Maybe today you've not had a productive day at all. You've given in to the bad habits. And that's why I want to tell you something that's really important. So stick to the end of the video. It's this race of life that we're in. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Everybody is in this race, this competition, this race of life. But the thing is, everyone's in it, but only as some are actually in the front. Only the 1%, the top 1%. If you've been watching self-improvement videos, you know what the top, <laughs> the top 1% man, you know all about that. Only like the top 1% are actually in the front of that race. And everyone else is actually going backwards. And I, and I put in the thumb of that, but not you, but chances are you probably are also going backwards. Even though you've been watching self-improvement videos, you see everybody in, in this race, they give in to the, to the bad habits. They see that junk food, or oh, I'm gonna have a bit of junk food today. It's just some quick food, because I can't be asked to cook. That's one step backwards. Oh, I'm bored. I'm lonely. I'm gonna go play video games. Another step back. I'm gonna go in the hub. Another step back. Instant gratification. Giving in to gratifi instant gratification is taking one step backwards in this race. But the thing is, maybe you're not doing that right now. You're doing the good habits, but you're still doing the bad habits going to the gym but you still eat the junk food and you still play video games and waste a lot of your time so you're going to the gym yeah that's one step forward but then you're taking two step backwards so you're still going backwards in this race if you think about two different people the guy who's giving in to instant gratification taking one step backwards that doesn't sound like a lot but then if you compare him to the guy who's been consistently doing the bare minimal of the good habits and not doing the bad habits after a year, the guy who's been doing the bare minimal will be a hundred steps in front of the guy who's been giving in to instant gratification. That's a lot, and that builds up a lot over time. And by thinking of this competition, that life is a race, that, ev that it is a competition, is actually how you can stay consistent and take lead and become the top 1%. The next time, I want you to think when you're about to give in and you're going to the gym and you're like oh I really want some quick food I'm, I'm really in the mood for Mackey D's and McDonald's oh, I really want it but if I eat this now someone else another guy would have had the willpower to not and in that moment he would have overtaken me in five years down the line he probably will end up taking that dream girl that I want that dream life that I want it's not a very positive way to think, but this is the way of thinking that actually helped me stay consistent on the good habits and actually stop giving in to the bad. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a chance you probably will never find this channel again. But if you do, and if you are, another video will pop up in the corner, and if this video helped you out, you should 100% click on it, because this could definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Yeah, self-improvement guest.